Hello, and this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a Star Wars related review since the trailer for The Last Jedi dropped yesterday. So today I'll be reviewing the Kmart exclusive Ray Black Series 6 inch action figure. And I'm actually going to uh, include BB-8 in it because I have some complaints about this normal Ray figure, so I'll go over that first before I go over this good Ray figure. Okay, so first of all, this is the standard Ray, the normal version. And <laughs> that face on this is horrible. <laughs> She's got like red cheeks, her eyes. She looks like a high cosplayer that's trying to be Ray. <laughs> she just. And I'm going to show them side by side. Like that. You can see the difference. That That is. Whew, I don't know what Hasbro was thinking with this face, but. That's why I'm including BB 8 in this review, because this is the best Ray so far, because there's going to be another one. And with this one, her arm. <laughs> The peg on it, it bends, uh, where, which way is it? Oh, okay, here, it, uh, it bends like this and like this instead of back and forth because right there's the cut where, uh, the, the hinge was supposed to be. So she, she instead just goes like that. I don't even know what that is. And, uh, her ankle was broke too. On this one, like, literally, it broke off when I took it out of the package. So this toy, oof. I I would not really recommend, well, actually, I wouldn't recommend this at all. Because if, if you're wanting it just for the BB-8, I'd just buy it off of eBay or something like that. Because this, this I don't know what happened with this one, but compared to this one, I mean, this one looks like Daisy Ridley. This one looks like a cosplayer trying to be Daisy Ridley. But that was my only nitpick about that one. So, so since I'm doing BB-8 with this one, I'll go ahead and just show him, too. So... This is the BB-8 that the standard one came with. I think Hasbro did really great with this. They did a great uh, dirt deco. I really like that. And you can see that it's all the way through. It's a little light in places, but nothing big. And he has a ball hinge joint head that can move back this much, forward, side to side, and just all around. <laughs> and I really didn't think he would stand, but he has kind of like a, something inside him so that it stabilizes him. So, stabilize is pretty good, and even if you do that, he'll still stand up. So I like that. And now, Ray comes with this, since it's the exclusive version. She comes with Starkiller base. Base. <laughs> I think Hasbro did really good with this. I like the nice blue and kind of translucent white plastic. They did really great with this, and this actually connects to the Kylo Ren of Star Killer Base Showdown Exclusive 2. And I'll show that off next week. I plan on doing a review on him next week. And uh, these two pieces come with Ray, and they come with little holes in the snow for her feet. And it stands really well in them. I'll show that off. I think that looks really cool like that. And uh, then this piece right back here. It just connects you, slide them. When you hear that kind of squeaking noise, that means that they're connected. So I really like that. Looks really good. I really like the base. <laughs> but, so as for Ray herself, I think it looks really great. This really looks like Daisy Ridley. I think the sculpting is great on the arms. I like this pouch back here. They sculpted that really well. And her clothes. I really love that, because all of this is sculpted in lines. Usually they just paint the lines on it. <laughs> but Hasbro did great with this, and this is my favorite Ray figure. They even did a nice dry brushing of white to make it look like snow on her feet. And actually, it kind of it kind of looks in a way like sand, too. So this fits in with your normal ones, too, because I think it kind of looks like she's been on, been on Jakku. So I think that could double as sand deco, too. So I really like that. And as compared to this one... Her, her uh, tunic or whatever, it uh, it's very stiff and like you can't move her hips out at all. And with this one, she can do that. Great for kicking. <laughs> but I really like that about him. I like the uh, lightsaber she comes with. She comes with Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. Hasbro did really great on the detail on this. I like the color of it too. It's a nice silver. I like the red on there. And also you can do that, and the blade comes off of it, so you can have her just like that. 
But that's my only complaint with this toy, is she doesn't have a hook on her belt to hook this on. So, so you can't, like, hook it right there. That'd look really cool. But she can hold it just like this. Not as cool as if it's ignited or if it'd be on her belt loop, but, eh, it's not bad. I really like it. So, oh. And since I'm using this one for my main ray, the staff off of the uh, regular version works on the exclusive version too. So I'll show her with that. Put it in like that. I like that. So, so I'm using this one as my main ray. So she, she can use all the accessories of the first one if you got it and you're disappointed with it like I was. <laughs> but I like that. And you can also hook it over her back too. I usually just turn her head sideways to do it. So I'll leave this on her for the rest of the review. <laughs> I think that looks really cool. Looks really cool. So now I'm going to go over articulation. She has a ball jointed head that can move eh, back just a little bit. It has a joint in the back right there, but her ponytail, or a kind of half ponytail, <laughs> whatever it is, the knob, knob, the knob, uh, it, it just allows it to move back that much. I don't really care about that, though, because she does have a ball joint waist. She can look down really far, really like that, and she can move side to side. And these, the hair right here doesn't hinder that at all. She has ball jointed shoulders that move out that much. She has a single jointed elbow that swivels, moves up and down that much. She has a swivel at the wrist that moves up and down and back and forth. It's the same on this one. This doesn't hinder it. The bracelet doesn't hinder any of the articulation. She has a ball jointed waist that allows her to move all around. It's, it's a little stiff, but if you have patience, you can really move it around. <laughs> but since I'm doing a review, I won't stay, stay too long on it. She has ball jointed hips that can move out that much. And it can move out a lot further because of the very, really soft rubber kind of vinyl material they made the tunic out of. She can kick forward that far, back that far. She has single jointed knee that also has a swivel, ankle swivel up and down, and ankle pivot. And on this one, the articulation, she can uh, move, she can kick forward that much. She can kick forward more on this side, and she can move back further on this side. So the articulation just with that side is different because of this loop over here, and it's not over here. So, I really like this toy. I actually love it, and I think they did Hasbro did great with the likeness of Daisy Ridley as Ray. And she can hold the lightsaber really well in her right hand. And uh, the only other complaint I had is she really can't, like, hold it in two hands, you know? Like a cool pose like that. She can kind of just do that. But but with the, with the soft kind of vinyl stuff we get for her tunic, I, I don't, I'm not going to complain too much about anything else because of the, everything that's better on this one. So I'm going to put her on her base again. She's supposed to be posed like that because once you connect Kylo Ren, it's like they're dueling. And here she is with BB-8. I really like that there. That's a cool scene in itself just like that. So, I would highly recommend this toy. It's really great, and I like this version better. And if you want BB-8, I would just recommend buying him by himself, because if you get this version, oof, definitely not worth it. And another thing is, she can't stand up on her own. <laughs> I don't know what the difference is with these. Maybe because the ankle was broken on this one? I'm not really sure, but I would highly recommend this version of Ray, the Kmart exclusive version. So that's my review, and if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.